life just isn't the same in Greece, at least not on this street, in the outskirts of Athens. <laughs> Here among neighbours Nikos and Yanis meet. They have little to celebrate, plenty to criticise. So tells me Nikos, a former construction worker who has been unemployed since 2009. I used to be a construction worker. I'm out of work since 2009. My world has been turned upside down. I used to have money in my pocket and now nothing. I was supposed to get my pension next year and now that has been pushed back by two years. Just put yourself in my position. Now he just feels anger. Understandable for a man who at 58 has had to ask his own mother to share her pension. A plea so painful it has clearly battered his pride. His wife Valentina prefers not to dwell on this focusing instead on their pride, their four sons, all unemployed. This one wanted to be a journalist. This one wanted to be a coach. But the wounds of austerity are hard to ignore. And soon this kindergarten cook, who has seen her wages slash by 55%, returns to her harsh reality. Who to help first? The four. I don't buy anything for myself so I can help them. I had to pay 260 euros in taxes. I only earn 800. So I haven't paid the taxes and gave the money to my son to help him with rent. So in a state of desperation, both her and her husband are gambling on Greece's left-wing Syriza party. Things can't get any worse with a new government. And if they do, we'll vote again for someone else. Their neighbor Yanis, who was let go by his company after 26 years of service, doesn't hold much hope for politicians or their policies. Things have changed a lot. We don't see a way out. We have been patient one year, two years, three years. And with time comes the realization that perhaps the worst is yet to come. I don't believe change will come. And actually, I don't think we've hit rock bottom. Disenchantment, despair and outrage. Life just isn't the same in Greece, at least not on this street. Isa Suarez, CNN, Athens, Greece.